Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jimmy Swift here and welcome back to another episode of our creative Let's Build series. This really isn't an episodic series because each one of these videos are sort of individual, but this is the world that we've been working in. We last episode kind of built our little piglin house, which is over that way. And I'm going to be making this world a world download for those of you guys that are at the pro level on the Patreon support. So if you want to join up and support me in my channel through Patreon, you can do so using the link down in the description below. And I will be including very soon a link to this world download. But as I do with these build videos, I want to build something that provides you guys with some inspiration for something new and fun to build in your Minecraft world as well. So today, I don't really have a specific goal in mind, although I do want to build a really cool nether base inside this open room. I think this open room is kind of cool. It's sort of hidden. It's kind of got a couple entrances. We got like an exit over here. We got an ex exit over this way and an exit over this way. So I was thinking it may be kind of fun to build something in here, kind of like a nether base that is sort of a bit hidden. So my goal for this build is to try and use as many of the new blocks within the nether as I can. I kind of want to make this one a little bit dark looking, so I kind of want to try and use some of the blackstone. And also guys, for this time lapse, I have replay mod installed, so I'm very excited about that. I've used it before, I use it on all of my legacy SMP videos, but I haven't done one yet with the replay mod in 1.16, so this should be a lot of fun. Anyways guys, if you have any ideas for future videos that you wanna see me build, any sort of things that you think would be cool for me to bring to life inside the world of Minecraft, let me know down below with a comment and I will go through those and check those out. So anyways, you guys, look at this guy, this Enderman's already, he's already putting down blocks from over here. Thank you, bro, I appreciate that. <laughs> all right guys, let's get into the time lapse. All right, so starting out in this build, I actually didn't really know what I wanted to do first, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to sort of do this little floating circle platform. So I whipped that up here and I actually wanted to try and use some of the new warped wood, which I think is a really cool color. And then I wanted to sort of spread some blackstone all around because I felt like this cave kind of would look even more cool if it was really dark or dark looking, I guess. And then I thought it'd be also super interesting to put a little lava pool down below here and kind of fill this in and put some glass over it just for some lighting and some cool effects. And guys, I have to say the, the basalt that I put on the sidewall there actually was really cool. I like that a lot. Here we're just kind of, I kind of felt like I wanted to do sort of like a ruined bridge thing. And then as I'm building, I'm like, yo, we need more and more blackstone. So this, this whole blackstone stuff kind of spreads as I go and this build gets bigger. And then over there, I did this sort of like hanging soul fire, soul campfire design, which I really liked with some chains and some wall, some blackstone walls and stuff. And then this big build that I'm putting in here now with the basalt and blackstone, I kind of wanted to have an area that was sort of like, you know, for our respawn anchor. So there's a respawn anchor at the top. And down below, you'll see when I give you guys a full tour at the end of the video here, is gonna be our storage room. So that's pretty neat. Throwing in some windows, you know, doing the thing. I kind of like the look of these iron bars in between the walls as well. Now coming over to this side, we're back over here at the ruined bridge part. And I decided I wanted to make this area actually functional. So I sort of started to design what ended up becoming a brewing room. I thought it'd be really cool just to kind of put this sort of like potions and brewing room inside this sort of ruined bridge because look, we're in the nether, so we are gonna need a way to make more potions if we need to. The only downside is obviously water, because water is way, 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 well, it's really only accessible in the overworld, so you gotta bring that in. But I did add some cauldrons in here, and I really wanted to try and use the new lodestone block. So I kind of messed around here with a couple different, you know, variations and designs inside this potion room, which you guys will see at the end here when I give you guys the full walking tour, because. That way you guys can see everything much, much closely, more closely and more detailed. But I thought that it was, I don't know, I really like personally working in small spaces. So it was a lot of fun to kind of mess with some different designs here. And this new lodestone block, like I said, is really kind of useful and fun. It's got a really cool texture to it. I am actually looking forward to trying to use that with, you know, more stone type builds in the future because I think it's a great little stone variant. But ultimately I came up with a double brewing stand design that I liked. Actually, no, I didn't. I replaced one of those with a cauldron, my bad. I was gonna try and do two, but we got a little bit of storage in here for our items, some extra potions and some brewing ingredients. And yeah, I thought that this room turned out pretty well. And I also actually put in some nether wart, a little nether wart farm in there as well. And so this build here, this, this part, I was just kind of messing around 
and I was like, oh, I kind of want to try a crimson roof. And then I realized, nah, that I don't like that at all. That looks terrible in here for this build specifically. Again, spreading more black sun out, but this room here kind of became our armory. So inside there are a couple sets of armor. We've got some golden armor that chanted with fire protection. Got some netherite armor with fire protection. And there's some goodies up top that I'll show you guys at the end here when we get the walking tour. And I thought, hey, if that's the armory, we should kind of make a bit of a forge outside. So I kind of whipped up this dual soul uh, campfire forge with blackstone, uh, blackstone bricks, cracked blackstone bricks. And so that area looks really cool. I can't wait to show you guys that one on foot as well. And then over here, I wanted to kind of do a little bit of a farm just to kind of give this area a bit more life. So I love the sound of the new nether bricks. So I wanted to incorporate those into this build just a little bit. We'll do probably another build later with way more nether bricks, but they sound so cool. And so I put a little farm over there with the, uh, the new little warped roots, I think is what they're called or something. I don't know, they're really cool. And then over here, I thought, hey, potion room, we're gonna be needing more nether wart. So let's put an, an actual useful nether wart farm over here because the warped roots aren't really, you know, they don't really grow. So anyways, that's that. Let's jump into the walking tour. All right, guys, so let's quickly jump in here to the walking tour. Now, real fast, before we get started, I do just want to say that I will be making this whole build here today and this whole entire world with both the starter house and the piglin house. This will be available as a world download for patrons only. So if you want to download this world and jump into here and, you know, use this as your world to explore the nether or whatever, then you can support me on Patreon. Link is down in the description below. And I'll be releasing that today on Patreon for those of you that are part of the pro level on up. All right, so without further ado, let's crack on with it and get into this base tour. This base is in the warped forest and you really wouldn't be able to tell by walking in here because of how dark it is. So we've got another portal over here. If you go through this, it's gonna take you to a location that's very far away from where the starter house is located. But for those of you that do download this world, if you become a supporter through Patreon, I'm gonna be including this handy book up near spawns that you can get around to all the locations in this world. Now, I think the best way to show you guys this tour is to just kind of start with how the order that I built it. So I started out over here. I kind of wanted to build this pathway going up and guys, I freaking, I know this is probably no surprise, but I freaking love the new Blackstone blocks. I think everybody that is playing Minecraft right now probably loves these new Blackstone blocks. But yeah, these blocks look awesome. I'm super excited to do more builds with the Blackstone. And if you guys have, of course, have any ideas for builds that you want to see me do, leave a comment down below. And also leave me a comment letting me know what you think of this entire build as well. So coming up the stairs here, we just sort of have a little bit of a working area. I don't know why I put a poisonous potato here. I think poisonous potatoes are hilarious in Minecraft as they really serve no use, but they're just like super rare and random. So I thought I'd throw that up here. We've got a little bit of a bell just for fun and some sea pickles. And up here, I kind of wanted to try and incorporate some of the different woods. So this is pretty much the only spot in the build that has the crimson wood. Then I threw in some more of the warped wood over here. We've got a smithing table because these are kind of useful now if you want to upgrade your, your diamond gear to netherite. We've got some a little bit of storage up here, a furnace and a crafting table. Then this is the ruined bridge. You can either drop straight down into the potion area right here or right here. But the main sort of way, this is kind of just leads to nowhere. I got a bunch of crazy vines, you know, hanging down. The main way you'd probably want to access this is on foot through here. You can kind of run through here. You guys can see the little lava pit here, which I think looks really cool. And guys, the basalt blocks on the side here with the lava down below and then the blackstone on top, I think looks just amazing. Coming back around this backside here, like I said, we have a nether wart farm. And I also kind of wanted to try and light this place up a bit more creatively with some of the new soul fire here. So we've got just some soul soil with these soul fires kind of scattered around. They're not really in the way. I did do a couple of these torch type designs, which I think look really cool. So there's one over here. And then there's also one over here next to the armory, which I think looks really nice. And I basically just try to use all the new lights. But coming into this rune bridge part, this is one of my favorite parts of the build. And this is our little brewing and potion room. So in here, we've got a cauldron. I haven't tested this, but I think it still holds only three bottles of water. So you've got two cauldrons that are full here. We've got a little bit of nether wart in case you run out. And then we've got a brewing stand on top of the new lodestone block, which I think looks really nice. We've got some nether warts up here, some potions of fire resistance, some bottles, another bucket of water, and then just some goodies for those of you that download the world if you want to start brewing potions in here. <laughs> All right, now going in order of the things that I built, this is one of the more favorite things, I would say, in terms of decoration that I did in this build. So this is a hanging soul campfire. So I used chains, the new chains, which, which just look really gothic and awesome. And I used those with some polished walls. We've got little slabs, a polished slabs right here, and then a polished blackstone regular block right there. And then just on top of that, we have a soul campfire 
fire. It kind of gets hidden by some of the vines and the builds around it, but this is a really cool design that I think you guys could probably use in some of your builds in the nether, specifically if they're more gothic in nature, as I think this kind of has that sort of like spooky vibe. The only thing that could make this better is if we had like skulls or something hanging from below this, which would be kind of cool. I don't know, maybe I could do that if we did like, you know, skeleton skulls hanging from chains or something. That could be cool. I should do that in a build coming up actually. So then this room right here, this with the warp door, this is our storage room. So inside here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight double chests. I also am obsessed with the chain blocks, as you can tell. So I actually hung some barrels from the ceiling with the chains, which I think looks really interesting as well. Of course, I tried to vary up the textures in the floor and use some gilded blackstone as well. This was also another just experimental design, like a little bit of a table design with this dark oak trap door and a chain block below it. I don't know. I thought it looked a little bit darker and cooler than just using a singular iron bar. Plus the chains don't connect to the wall. So if I were to use an iron bar right here, it would connect to the wall and look kind of weird. And I kind of wanted to just have one little unit here supporting up this trap door. Over here, we just got some fancy fun little things. We've got a stone cutter, some more storage right here with some barrels, another barrel up here, and we got an ender chest some glass, some iron bars. I kind of wanted this place to look a little bit more like a dungeon, but also be functional again. And of course we got a hanging soul fire lantern here as well. And a little composter for decoration. And what are these guys called again? Crimson fungus. These, these mushrooms look amazing. I just have to say, they are one of my favorite little decoration blocks or items in the new update. So coming up the ladder right here, this is going to take you up to where sort of like our quote bedroom is, but bedrooms are a bit different now in the new nether because, well, you can't use beds, but you can use these respawn anchors. So we've got a fully charged respawn anchor here. I thought adding these redstone blocks with the chains. Again, I love the chains. I thought that adding these would actually kind of give an interesting pop of color to this space. We've got the red hanging in and around here. And I think the redstone blocks kind of add a bit more. I don't know if I love the exact design that I did here, but I do think that these redstone blocks with the black stone and the weeping vines are actually a really cool combo. And then we've got a little more storage over here. Coming out and around, then I whipped up this armory over here. And I think this is pretty cool as well. Of course, you guys will have to let me know down in the comments, but I wanted to use some more of the basalt, uh, the basalt blocks because I don't know how you pronounce that basalt, basalt, I'm not sure. Anyways, I used them over here and I thought they looked really nice. So I tried to use them again for sort of the front door here. And if you kind of step back, I don't know, I sort of feel like the design, the outline of this place kind of looks like an anvil, maybe. I don't know, I kind of tried to go for like a medieval style top a little bit, but uh, sort of more like a, of a castle feel here for this one. But anyways, this is our armory. So this is where all of our armor is. We've got some anvils over here, another smithing table, a shroom light, and a blast furnace with a crafting table down below here. We've got netherite armor. All of this stuff is enchanted with Unbreaking 3 and Fire Protection 4. Same with the golden armor over here. It's Unbreaking 3 and Fire Protection 4. Coming up this secret, well, not secret, but it's kind of hidden because the blackstone all kind of blends together. But we got a little staircase back here on this side, and this brings you up to a full enchanting room. So this is nice because you can do some enchanting up here. We've got a couple grindstones on the wall over here. A little random loom that I just threw over here. It kind of offsets the symmetry in here. So sorry if that bothers anybody, but I really didn't want to see the texture of the loom from the front side on this side over here. I'd rather have the weeping vine kind of hanging down. Of course, we got some random glowstone blocks all around. I don't know, when I do these videos, how detailed do you guys want me to be when I give you these walking tours? Is this too much information? You'll have to let me know. I'm still figuring out the format of this video series, so let me know, give me some feedback, please. But yeah, I just threw in some gold up here, some more gold, and then I got some lapis over here if you guys want to do some enchanting and full enchanting table there. Then another, well, I love this whole build, honestly. Basically with this whole build, I tried to make sort of like this, this base, but have it sort of be like this outdoor working area where you can kind of walk around to different stations and do different things because I felt like this cave was really super peaceful. So that's kind of the vibe that we've got going on here. That's why there's multiple buildings and things. But if you walk out of the armory and you come over here, this is where we have our forge. And I think this little chimney stack with the forge looks really, really cool. It's safe. You can't walk into it and hurt yourself. But yeah, I just loved varying up the textures here with all these different blackstone blocks and blackstone bricks and gilded blackstone. It just looks super cool. And then over here we have a blast furnace. We have a furnace furnace, regular furnace hidden away with some charcoal inside. We've got another anvil and then just a little table with a crafting table. Now this is another design that I kind of worked up. I was trying to figure out a fun way to make another hanging light. And so this is basically just blackstone bricks on the side. We've got alternating blackstone brick walls going up through here. And then basically this part just comes out with a wall in the middle like this 
blackstone brick. We've got signs all the way around just for some added dimension and texture. Again, using the chain blocks, and then we're hanging a soul fire lamp right there. Then coming over here, we have a little farm, which, you know, it's not super useful because I don't think these warp roots do anything. I could be completely wrong about that. I personally haven't looked into them too much because I think they're just decoration blocks, but I do think that this little farm area looks kind of cool. You could do another hanging light here because the middle of this farm is a bit dark for me. As you can see, the light sort of fades off as these lanterns aren't as bright as the regular lanterns, like the yellow ones, but you could add some stuff in here if you want. You could even put just like a light right down on the floor or something, but I think this looks kind of cool. It gives a little bit more life to this build and adds a little bit more intrigue, especially because this space over here was pretty much empty. And yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much it. I'm just sort of flying around here making sure I didn't miss anything. Of course, there's a couple different entrances and exits to this place. If you do choose to support me through Patreon and you want to download this world for yourself. The way to get here will be to follow the blue soul fire from the nether portal that's out that way that will take you back to the storybook house. And so there's two paths. One path is going to actually take you here. I'll just show you guys. So you come in from the portal over here. You follow the blue soul fire like this, come out this way. Of course, you can do this in survival mode as well as I will have cheats enabled for this world so you guys can either fly around in creative or you can go and play through it in survival. And if you go to the left over here, that will take you over to the piglin house that we built in the last video. And if you go this way, it'll obviously take you to the base that I just showed you guys. But this little base is kind of cool. Like I said, it's sort of just tucked away in this quiet little cove back here, which I really like. And there's multiple exits. There's an exit that way. There's an exit over here and there's an exit over this way anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video i really really hope you enjoyed it i had so much fun building this space for you guys if you have any more ideas for new like nether builds or just builds in general if there's some new block that you want me to to use that you think would be really cool to to, to do in a build if you guys are looking for some inspiration please let me know down in the comments below guys please like this video if you enjoy it share it with a friend if you have a friend that plays minecraft that you think you know needs to work on their base or something. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed, guys. And thanks so much, and I will see you in the next video. Special thanks to Ammon S, Ayada, RxV, Britt, Cam, Carl, Colin K, Danny H, Darren, Darth Infernus, Dina V, Elijah E, Ethan G, Garrett B, Garrett M, Ashan, It's Ravens, Jack E, Jake G, Jay-Z103, Jonathan P, Kieran B, Linkman Media, Max H, MCJ Pollock, Mitch H, Moldy, Nanodar, Omega Gamer, Payton L, Parker H, Fi Silver, Raltus, Robert E, Ryan, Samuel R, Savannah G, Scott M, Scott O, Siler S, The Old Navy, The Virtual Bomb, Trevor S, Tycho Loke, Waldo and Friends, Wave Z, William K, Wupagadon, Zach A, Xander is a Nerd, Samuel T, August B, Scott C, Chris B, and Evan G. Your monthly support through Patreon has helped make this video possible, so thank you so much. And if you're somebody out there and you want to see your name at the end of a video like this, you can help support me through Patreon, guys. Link is down below.